Welcome back to Math 104. It turns out that the correct answer is that you should switch. Your probability of getting the car equals two-thirds if you do switch, but only one-third if you stay. If you play only a few times, you might not see results like that, but if you play the game 12 times with one strategy and 12 times with the other strategy, you very likely have won more cars by switching than you have by staying. Now this is very counterintuitive. How could it possibly matter so much whether you stay or switch? What was wrong with that argument, that once you know that the car is either here or there, that it shouldn't matter which one you pick? Because if you're convinced that it doesn't matter which door you pick after the one goat has been revealed, then you are in some very good company. You are in the company of very smart people. This mathematical problem caused a storm of controversy when Marilyn Voss Savant, who was in the Guinness Book of World Records for having the highest IQ in the world, and who, by the way, really does have the last name Savant, published a correct solution to this problem in Parade magazine in 1990. You can look up her website and read more about it. It's fascinating. I'll share with you a couple of the furious responses she received from highly qualified mathematicians who themselves got it wrong and didn't believe her answer, which turns out to have been right. So after she wrote that it does matter whether you switch or stay and that it's better to switch, Dr. Ray Bobo of Georgetown University wrote, You are utterly incorrect about the game show question, and I hope this controversy will call some public attention to the serious national crisis in mathematical education. How many irate mathematicians are needed to get you to change your mind? This is fairly typical of the mail she received, and she received a lot of it. But the best of all is from Dr. Everett Harmon, who wrote, You made a mistake, but look at the positive side. If all those PhDs were wrong, the country would be in some very serious trouble. Well, it turns out that all those PhDs who disagreed with her were wrong. Let's see why. Explanation number one. Let's look at it from the point of view of a pure stayer, a player who never switches doors. Before we even open any doors, a pure stayer will have a one-third probability of winning the car. Someone who has no intention whatsoever of ever switching will just randomly pick one door, say door number two. That player has a one-third chance that that's where the car is. Okay, so the pure stayer has a one-third probability of winning the car. Therefore, a pure switcher Someone who has the exact opposite strategy of the pure stayer will have the opposite probability of winning the car. If the pure stayer has a one-third probability of winning, the pure switcher has a two-thirds probability of winning. Explanation number two is to look at it from the host's point of view. This is really important conceptually for understanding what's going on and why this all works. Suppose the player is a pure switcher. In other words, always opts to switch to the other closed door after one door has been opened and a goat revealed. Now, one-third of the time, the player initially guesses a door with a car behind it. So let's imagine that the three doors are closed. You're now the host. You know where the car is. And the player selects door number one that has the car behind it. Okay, there's a one-third chance that the player will just accidentally pick the door that has the car behind it already. Now, what do you as the host do? Well, if the player guesses a door with a car behind it, then the host has the option of opening either of the two other doors, and it doesn't matter which. Either way, the pure switcher is going to end up with a goat. That's one-third of the time. But the other two-thirds of the time, the player guesses a door with a goat behind it. So let's suppose, again, the player guesses door number one, but now let's say that has a goat behind it, then what do you as the host do? Let's first imagine that it's door number two that has the car and door number three has the other goat behind it. Right? All the doors from the player's point of view are closed. You as the host can't open door number one because that's the door that the player selected. You're not going to open door number two because that has the car behind it. You're only going to open door number three. You have to open door number three. Since the rules require you to open a different door than the one that was originally selected, and to open one that has a goat behind it, you have to open door number three. So your decision as a host is strictly determined here. You as the host don't have any options. Well, what about the case where the car is actually behind door number three? Again, the player is picking door number one, there's a goat behind it. Well, you as the host have to open one of these two doors, 
and you have to open the one with the goat behind it, so again, you have no choice in the matter. You couldn't open door number three, because it has the car behind it, and you can't open door number one, because that's the one that was originally selected, so you have no choice. You, as the host, have to open door number two. This is a key point. If the host has only one choice of which door to open, then the act of opening that door signals that the car is really behind the remaining door. This is the crucial point. If you're the host, and you open a certain door and reveal a goat behind it, two-thirds of the time, that's really transmitting information about where the car actually is. So in this scenario, it's not just a 50-50 guess for the player between the original door and the remaining closed door. On the contrary, by the deliberate choice to leave a certain door closed, the host is giving away information about where the car is located. This means that in two-thirds of the plays of the game, the pure switcher will switch to a door which really does have the car behind it. To build on this insight that by leaving a certain door closed, the host is actually giving away information about where the car is, we're going to look at a variation on the game. So before going on to the next video, go back to this same online demo site. You're going to adjust the number of doors to be 15, and then press set so that it believes you that you really mean 15 doors, and then go through the process again. I'm going right here to number of doors, I'm typing in 15, I'm clicking set, and look at what that does. Now there are 15 doors, one of them has a car behind it, and the other 14 have goats. Now I select one door, and let's see what my options are. That's a whole lot of goats. I bet that smells really interesting. I can either click here to stay with my original choice of door, or I can think about switching to the other door, the one door out of all these other doors that for some reason the host decided to leave closed. I will leave it to you to experiment this, and we'll pick up in the next video.